Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Brigade. I am Brian Greer, and on this show, we're going to be talking about all the games coming to crowdfunding, so either Kickstarter and or GameFound. Plus, I'll be giving you my personal opinion about what games you should be paying attention to for this week. So if you're looking for that personalized touch, stay tuned for more timestamps down below for your convenience. Let's hit it. Okay, so before we obviously jump into the show, we always like to do our little discussion. Uh, this week we had an interview with Brandon McCaskill where we talked about Mythwind. If you're interested in that, check out the video. I think it's a good little insider deep dive in terms of like talking to a publisher, talking about a new game and all the you know intricacies of starting a new game and creating the idea from scratch. Uh, we also ticked, uh, talked about the games that I regretted backing on Kickstarter. That was a, uh, a video where I basically gave you top 10 games that I really wish I didn't back or at the end of the day regretted it for a, a number of reasons. So if you're interested in those two videos, we will post them uh, up here for, the, for you guys to check out. Otherwise, let's go and hit it for the first game. Okay, the first game we'll be covering this week, coming out on July 19th, is Beyond the Rift, a Paradox Mouth card game. And you might be reading that name and be like, what the hell does that mean? Well, first off, this is a sequel to this game, uh, Paradox Mouth Abyssal Riff, which came out in 2016. So the situations and the stories that occurred in this game are going to be resolved in this card game. And this card game uses uh, action systems as well as your player deck as players will be going through different types of scenarios, um, basically different chapters based on the characters that you're playing because each character will have a different type of uh, personalized chapter they may play. They say there's going to be between three and five of these scenarios that you're going to be going through, each one taking about 30 minutes to complete. And the main crux of this game is going to be using your action points and kind of weighing them with the use of your cards so you don't uh, overplay. The pictures here, unfortunately, don't show a lot of information. But if you're looking for a great rundown, check out my man, One Stop Co-op Shop. He's got a great preview of this game. You can take a look at that video for more information. Okay, so for my pick of the week, we're just going to come out big and say Chronicles of Drungor, Age of Darkness, Apocalypse. This is my pick of the week. Ooh, I should do something cool because I have that little thing that pops up. Obviously, this is one I hyped up at the beginning of the month. I talked about this one in my top three Kickstarters that you should know about. Actually, I talked about crowdfunding top three crowdfunding games this was my number one game because it's got so much stuff that i'm really interested in taking a look at and uh basically the gameplay of this one has always intrigued me uh, i like the way the characters evolve the way you can customize them the biggest downfall that we had with chronicles drug are um, was the campaign just didn't really dive into the story apocalypse is supposed to be really bringing that forward so if you're looking for a really enriching campaign game with really engaging combat and uh, customization with your players this might be it i know i am extremely interested in it the value is definitely there for people who are looking for a great value game also if you are not already please go to GameFound, check out the preview. I have the links down below for your guys' convenience and click follow so you get the free Fallen Sisters mini boss expansion if you pledge with the Apocalypse Adventures box. This is a $13 value you get for free for clicking a button that takes literally 30 seconds. I would recommend checking it out. At the end, you don't have to back the game. I definitely think it's always worth it to click it, even if you're not going to back it, just so you have you know everything locked in. There also is going to be a 48-hour uh, free initiative tracker if you back within the first 48 hours. So not only are they doing a free bonus for following, they're also going to be doing an early bird gift. So there's a lot of incentive here. I think there's going to be a lot of... Um, cool videos coming out for this as things go on. I'm excited to see more gameplay videos, uh, but this one is my pick of the week coming out on July 20th. Next, we've got Cthulhu Rises, and Cthulhu Rises, this is a board game adjacent. Uh, it's basically just going to be a massive campaign uh, delving into different types of miniatures that you can use for your 5e campaigns or, or whatever you may do. Uh, they also are including a uh, high resolution. Right now these are low resolution, but you can watch these clips. Oh, they have audio. Uh, where you're going to have, uh, you know, if you want to play on this type of game board. The biggest thing they have here, they have this massive gold-plated 
uh, Cthulhu statue. And there's a whole bunch of pledge levels here on the side that you can go through uh, and take a look at. I am not a person who backs games purely for miniatures. But if you're someone who likes collecting miniatures so you can use them in your other campaigns and you like the Cthulhu uh, water uh, underwater vibe, this might be one to check out. This goes live on July 20th. Okay, so the next game I'm going to be giving my recommendation to is Oros. And Oros is an interesting game because it's going to be using area movement as well as worker placement where players are going to be competing on this board of islands where you're going to be trying to create different types of shrines on mountains. But all of these tiles are not mountains. So players are going to have to shift the tiles to create mountains where they can then uh, ascend to send a worker there to build some sort of shrine of some sort. So for example, you have uh, you have the players, you'll be shifting these tiles along and colliding them, kind of like how continents shift and grow and build up different types of land masses. It will be uh, seen in this game and eventually you'll be creating these mountains which you can build shrines to which then allow players to grow on the track here for victory points the interesting aspect to this game is you're also going to be having a tech tree system here so players can uh, customize their game while also managing the area movement which is pretty interesting i think this game is going to be a pretty good looking title kind of a surprise i know a lot of people knew about it i didn't really follow this one too much pre-campaign so when i looked at it, i was like hey actually this looks really good uh, i wish i was able to play it prior to the launch it's weight complexities at 3.0 because there's a lot of moving parts going on so i always recommend people at a game above 2.5 Take a look at the game, make sure it's for you and your player group before you back it. But I definitely think this is one that I would recommend to check out. Okay, Animal Adventures, The Far Away Sea. And this is an interesting one. I don't normally cover 5e titles on my channel. I'm not a big uh, Dungeons and Dragons type DM like situation but this is being brought to us by steamforge games and basically this game is a situation for players to have a um 5e experience in this world where it's going to be sentient animals that you're playing in uh going through a bunch of different types of magical islands with a full uh custom like full printed dm book like a guidebook i do want to show this here though because i think this is valuable and it's not easily found if you are wanting a free gm screen with your pledge you have to do this prior to the campaign so this is a ten dollar value this will be added as a um optional purchase if you want to buy optionally but if you're looking for this exclusive free dm screen you have to go to this page and click here to sign up for the newsletter for steamforge games pre-campaign i'll have the links down below for your convenience but i definitely wanted to leave that there for you guys so you could check it out and again this has a lot of information if you do this to check out the game talk about what's what are the differences like what's what's the game going to be about again i'm not a huge person with 5e like titles but i know that people are into this kind of content so i want to make sure that you guys are aware uh, and this will be launching on the 20th as well the final game easy week quick week the final game launching on the 20th is circus break and this is a card game using take that mechanics i'm not a big person in terms of take that anymore it's just i feel like i get so many take that card games that i'm kind of getting over them uh, but this one the idea is that players are going to be animals trying to escape from the circus so they're going to be doing whatever they can do to be the one that can escape so if that means having to put the other animals down uh, that's what they're going to do i definitely recommend checking out the campaign in terms of seeing if it's for you if it's a mechanic that you're interested in or a theme you're interested in this one launches on july 20th as well Wow, that was a super fast week. In fact, this might be the quickest. This could potentially be a rapid fire episode because that might have been the quickest I feel like I've done for a series of games of the upcoming Kickstarters coming to the, you know, crowd, let's say upcoming crowdfunding games. Anyways, if you guys like the show, if this is helpful for you, if you appreciate the work I put forward to, to make sure you guys get all the titles coming to Kickstarter, please subscribe down below. Also click the like button, help me out. If you really want to be a champ, consider supporting my patreon it really helps me keep this going uh every every little bit supports even one dollar is a huge help anyways guys i appreciate everyone for taking the time to help me on the channel uh watching the show clicking likes i really appreciate it uh other than that i will talk to you very soon uh -huh.